hi guys welcome to my crazy life it's Lori and today I am making for you a Dollar Tree DIY front door hanging wreath um, it's not really a wreath I'm using a wooden the 12 inch wooden circles that I had picked up from the Dollar Tree a while ago and I've been waiting to make this project but I had to get all my Christmas stuff put away because I had a mess in here and now it's tidy so I can do this so I'm super excited. Um, it can be made with 100% Dollar Tree items, including the hot glue gun. So let's get to it. I will show you the materials. I will show you how I put it together. And then I will show you the finished product. I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps my channel. Thank you. So here are the materials we're going to use to make my Dollar Tree front door wreath. Most of the materials came from the Dollar Tree. Some did not but they all could come from the Dollar Tree. How about that? Hot glue gun heating up. And I get a lot of questions on this. This is an AdTech hybrid cordless. It takes batteries and charges, plugs in, um, on and off. Oh, it's not even plugged in. I was like, why isn't that on? Cause it's not plugged in. Um, basic but I like it that it stands. All right, I got this at the Dollar Tree and I actually went online and tried to order some more and they're out of stock, but it's a 12 inch circle, just 12 inch circle basswood, um, kind of thin. So I did take two and I glued them together. So any circle really will work. So now I have this piece left. Um, you're going to want some wire cutters. I used a ruler, some scissors. I used a paint pen. I did mine in black, white, and a coppery color. So you'll want paint for sure. Um, I used painter's tape, and I'll show you in a minute. Glue sticks. You can also use these from the Dollar Tree to paint this with. You may need a couple packages, though. And then sanding block and a nail file just to make sure everything is good and a ruler. So what I did is I took this piece, I removed all of that, and then I decided where I wanted my stripe to go. Took some painter's tape, lined it up evenly, and it goes, you want it to go all the way across. And then I did mine double wide, but this will give you a very straight, clean line. So that's what I did on the one I'm going to show you. And then I took the paint off before it dried. Oh, and another thing you're going to want are some letters. I have glitter everywhere, guys. So this is what I did. I also have this container from the Dollar Tree of just a bunch of wood letters. I buy them every once in a while when I see them. I'm out of O's, so I need to go buy more. But what I did is I took my painter's tape, I lined it up, and I did two wide here. I did black and white, obviously. And then to clean up this edge, I took paint and a ruler. Uh, because I freehanded the white. You can tape it all off. And then I just do a line of the black and that makes that line nice and crisp and clean. I decided I wasn't gonna go with blue on my front porch because my front door is blue. So I didn't think that would work so well. So I'm going with black and white and metallics. This is an ornament that I've had. I got it at the dollar spot, but I know they sell snowflakes. I just liked it. And it's probably gonna go right there if I had to guess. Then I took the wooden letters and I painted them this coppery, brassy color. And it, they're just the wooden letters. This is so easy, guys, like anybody, quickly. You just need very basic supplies. Now I'm laying these out first to space them and then I will go back. And fun fact, this was a cue. I just cut it and sanded it. And then I'm gonna learn how to spell. Where's my E? Found it. 
All right, so I'm just trying to get my spacing out. Also, after I painted this, I did spray it with a sealer because it's going to be outside. And that is also the same reason I doubled up and I used two of these signs and glued them together. Uh, they're not real heavy and I wanted it to have some weight on it since it's gonna be hanging on my front door. So you just get your letters together and you can do this literally in any colors that you want. You could do your line this way, you could do it that way, crisscross, it doesn't matter. It's all personal preference. Now let's see if I can glue down this W. I am gonna use a decent amount of glue on these, again, because it's going to be outside. And that's also, you know, why I sealed everything up. And then I'm just adding glue to my letters. The one thing is you'll want to, you know, just get them lined up because hot glue moves around on you. So I'm trying to make sure that we're all in the right area. Don't hot glue your fingers. And some of my glue went over and I'm okay with that. And that's like it for the letters. I mean, that's how easy this is. And I'm just gonna glue them on there. I mean, how quick and easy. It just requires some paint. And now the Dollar Tree even sells that. So that's even better. Like this literally. Um, the one few things I did not get at the Dollar Tree was the paint, just because I had it at home. But also I did not get the ribbon. I wanted a specific ribbon. So I did not get that out either. So I wanted mine to say welcome. It could say let it snow. You could just take the Dollar Tree let it snow sign and put it over here that's for a different project or any signs that you want. Now, I definitely want this centered right where it's at in the center. So I will get some glue on here. You just kind of want a decent amount and push it down and hold it. And that's all you're waiting on really is the glue to dry. So that's nice and centered. I went with a gray or a silvery gray plaid ribbon um, because that's how I want it to look right here. You do you. But I also picked up and I want to utilize, it's just some greenery because I feel like we're still at winter time, right? So I feel like I can still get away with some pine for the winter and I want this to go on here and I'm just holding it on just like that. Now, if you have one of these Dollar Tree, it's a makeup brush, it's silicone. It'll, it won't stick to the hot glue, but it will also keep your greenery going, you know, staying down. Um, this is what this pick looked like. I just cut it apart. We're gonna do one more. Adding the glue over here. And I'm gonna hold that down. This is so exciting. I can't wait to change out my front porch and kind of go with this metallic -y winter feel. Right? Because I'm kind of, ooh, that's not good. I need more glue underneath that. I was kind of afraid that was gonna happen. So. We go. I'm just adding some more glue to onto this. These are pretty stiff and they're going to fight against the glue. So I'm just trying my darndest to get it to stick. There we go. And then I want to put my bow up here and I think I want it like right above and then I will put a pine cone in. Do I want a couple more of these? 
This is why I use the wire snips, by the way. Um, I think they work better than scissors, and I cringe when I see people, and I'm not judging, but it just, oh, I cringe when I see the scissors cutting through. And this wire on this is very he hefty. You're not going to get through that with singes or with uh, scissors for sure. I'm going to have to get the little pine cones off, maybe. I'm going to put the pine cone in the middle, for sure. So I think that, again, is a wintry thing. But I'm just adding lots of glue here. And that's going to be the key to getting all of this to stick, is the glue. So we'll put that on there. And I kind of created a circle here in the center to attach the bow. And if you can see all this glitter, these are glitter bombs. So Dollar Tree is not the only company that glitter bombs everything. This, this is all from Hobby Lobby and it is absolutely covered in glitter. There we go. We're gonna put that right here. And just kind of let it dry in there, right? I might get you to go a little over here. We're going to do that. And then I think right here in the middle, I would like a pine cone. What do you think? I think that looks good. Or maybe two. Yeah, we'll do two just to cover the center. Put some string on it to hold it up. And that is it. How easy was that for a Dollar Tree wreath? Now, if you're buying the letters, you will need two packs. It comes with only one E. So you would need two packs of letters. So two, three, this was a dollar four. These were a dollar five, and the ribbon was a little more. But if you got the ribbon, six dollars to make to make this. Beautiful Christmas wreath, which I love and I think is perfect. We might need one more pine cone. We'll see. I'll let it marinate while everything, everything is drying, but I might, I might get a couple more pine cones in there or a bell or something. Who knows? I'll just sit here and dingling around with it. Get that one. I just wanted some substance, you know? That'll be perfect. So we're gonna have four pine cones in the center of this ribbon, of this bow. Bow, okay, we're gonna let this sit. And then, so everything dries how it should. And then I will get it hung up and I will show you the finished product. But a $6 Dollar Tree front door wreath. So excited. And there it is, perfectly finished. I need to fix my little pine cone in the center, but I'll do that. I'm so excited. I think it looks really good. And I hope you enjoyed that super quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY.